Pretty sure this turbo will make you jealous. <laughs> I think he was just telling me he did a nine, he did a nine second pass, and then blew a head gasket. But yeah, if you were to look at this from the inside, you would never know that this is a nine second thousand horsepower Hyper Blue STI. Simply amazing. Did, did they get mad about the cage thing? And how That's fast why I stayed in it. But I figured we were gonna get kicked because of the tape. Yeah. And so I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna go ahead and stay in it. Try to salvage what we had for a pass. That's wild. Nice to go. So right. I was like, this ain't full weight. And then we took it to the we took it to the scales. And really? It's yeah. it's heavy. Like, Trunk man and everything. Heavy yeah. Bitch. Yeah, it's got everything in there. The only thing that's missing on the car to make it truly not full weight would be an exhaust. Yeah. So the car yeah. with me in it weighs 35, 80, 35. I was about to say 34 without you. Yeah. 3380 yeah. is what it weighs without. Oh, really? So pretty close. Yeah. 34 is what they weigh factory. This is a 100% stock tranny. Uh, it has a stock drive shaft, stock rear diff, and it has DSS front and rear axle. All right, Josh, what do we got in here, man? All right, so I work with out front. And so it has an out front V4 case. Uh, it's a pin main case. It is their biggest option that they do offer. Stock Subaru heads that have been ported, oversized valves, PC280 cams, and then I build all my own motors in house as well. Oh, so this is one cool. of our 1,000 plus horsepower motors. The turbo kit was built by Ranchville. Went ahead and did a custom headlight mount. The headlight still does fit and works like normal. Oh wow, um, yeah. I have been trying to work with a couple companies to cut out the high beam spot on the headlight. <laughs> that way I don't have to continue to pull the headlight out. Uh, the car still makes 1,040 at the wheels with the headlight in. Wow. Uh, <laughs> without the headlight, we, the car is 1,100 plus. We yeah. had to have it on the dyno, but it's backed it up. There you track. go. It's proven. This is probably like the most famous Hyper Blue right now. It is. Now. It really is, I'm telling you. Yeah. <laughs> when you say Hyper Blue, everyone seems to talk about it, you know? Yeah. Uh, I work with Extreme Turbo Systems. Uh, they've been sponsoring me for a couple of years oh, now. Awesome. Great people, Mike and Robert up there. And uh, they did a prototype five inch intercooler. So this is the first oh, wow. five inch intercooler that we didn't work on. Yeah, you can see so the you look how of close it. it is there, but I truly wow. need to cut the bumper out a little bit more. I've been kind of battling it, but yeah. It needs it, so I think we're gonna end up cutting this up to here instead to get a little bit more airflow on it. The car does have a, a factory ECU oh, wow. tuned on the Cobb Axis port. JR Tune does all the e tuning on the car. It mm -hmm. is the highest e tuned power Subaru in the world. All e tuned. Yep. There you go, guys. <laughs> and uh, we're gonna keep pushing it. It has the 7685 Gen 2 Precision Turbo. We have the IAG fuel rails with ID 2000s. Uh, I did go ahead and use the Precision Wolf out this time around. The, the tile, just try to change it up, figure I'd match it to the turbo. And then, like I was telling you before, we're gonna probably go to an 83, 85 for next year. Go bigger, right? Go bigger. Yeah, why not? Make more power. <laughs> why not? Uh, I know a lot of people might ask, it does have a Xetti triple disc clutch. That's where it holds the power. 100% uh, stocks, STI transmission in the car. Yeah. It does not have IAG transfer gears or upgraded oh, alpha yeah. shaft. It is an untouched. Wow. Factory oh, STI transmission in the car. Stock transmission. Yep. Wow. So Breaking up at the eighth. So. Oh, 
awesome. Yeah, I'm telling you. Hey, hey guys, I'm telling you guys, this is a full street car. This is not a stripped yep. out drag car. Full interior, and I'll show you guys that probably in a B-roll. But trunk, everything. The, what it weighs, I have the slip. Oh, do you really? Actually, I have it in the truck. I'll grab it for you. Cool. Here's, here's a weight. There you go. 3340 without me in the car. It shows the weight of the car. Time of when we did it was 720, so it was right before we did our 932 pass at 151. But yep, just to prove. Full interior, guys. The thing I forgot to mention, the car is fully insured. Yep. It's registered. You even got the AC system. You can guys, if you guys have a good eye, you can yep. see it. But you see it there. We also did leave the ABS in the car too. We had to relocate that back. Oh, yeah. Do a custom power steering reservoir. Yeah. Oh man, look at the oh, thickness okay. of that intercooler. <laughs> Holy crap. God damn. Five inch? Yeah, five inch. And that's why you had to go 18 plus for the bumper? Right. Okay. Yeah, you see we had to do a little bit of trimming on it. The bumper for the type of intercooler type we wanted, oh, yeah. three inch all the way. Wow. It goes off three and a half in the turbo, next down to three, and then it goes through and stays three inch all the way. Just for reference, there's my hand. Yeah. No, no, no. no. You, want, you want reference? Here you go. Here you go. There you go. iPhone for reference. <laughs> I think we're gonna, I'm gonna work with them to try to design a little bit larger one so for max out on this. Yeah. Obviously this one's about 1200, 1300 horsepower max. So I think we're gonna try to work together on a six, six and a half inch. Oh wow. Try to push it back a little oh, bit. I think yeah. we need but a bring the intercooler out more to be a little bit larger. Because we are kind of maxing out at this point. All right guys, Josh is gonna show us that the headlight still fits with the turbo in that location. You guys don't believe me? Watch this. That's the headlight. Yep. Just like that. Hops right in. Bolts right in the factory location. That way, for when we put it in the trailer, if the truck were to throw up any rocks, yeah, it doesn't go into the out. turbo. Yeah, if you actually look, it's like they created the headlight for it. It's all rounded. It's really hard to catch on camera. Yeah. So here you go. If you guys want to check them out on uh, social media, you know, what's your Instagram? High Boost Solutions. There you go. We got we'll, this right here. We'll put it down there. There you go. We have a shop up in Spokane. There you go. But yeah. But yeah. Check it out. Hyper, fastest hyper blue STI on the planet.